Most folks think you need $40,000 to own a Tesla. That keeps millions of Americans locked out of electric vehicles. But what if Tesla's next car costs just $12,749 at the dealership? That's not clickbait. That's the leaked MSRP target from engineering documents for Tesla's affordable model, codenamed Redwood. And when you factor in state incentives, fuel savings, and lower maintenance over seven years, your effective ownership cost drops even further, potentially under 10,000 in optimal scenarios. Here's what terrifies older drivers about budget electric cars. Will it survive real American roads? Can you afford the insurance and repairs? Will you actually understand how to use it after 40 years of driving traditional vehicles? Tesla had to solve three problems that killed every cheap EV before it. First, durability in harsh conditions, from Minnesota winters to Florida humidity. Second, total cost of ownership, including insurance and repairs. Third, daily usability for drivers who want transportation, not a computer science project. The most important engineering changes aren't in the battery. They're underneath the car, where water and salt quietly destroy vehicles every single day. The Price Breakdown from $12,749 to near zero effective cost. Let me show you how a $12,749 sticker price becomes even cheaper over time. This is the math dealerships don't want you running. Start with that MSRP of $12,749. State incentives vary wildly. California offers two to seven thousand in combined rebates. Colorado gives five thousand. Texas and Florida offer one to three thousand. In a high incentive state, you can capture up to five thousand immediately, dropping your out-of-pocket cost to around seventy-seven hundred. Now factor fuel savings. If you drive twelve thousand miles yearly at two dollars eighty-nine per gallon for gas, you're spending fifteen hundred dollars annually. Switch to home charging at 17 cents per kilowatt hour, your annual cost drops to 600. That's 900 saved per year, or 6,300 over seven years. Maintenance is where EVs dominate. No oil changes, transmission fluid, spark plugs, or exhaust systems. EV maintenance runs 200 per year versus 800 for gas vehicles. Over seven years, that's 4,200 saved. Final calculation, 12,749 MSRP minus 5,000 incentives minus 6,300 fuel savings minus 4,200 maintenance savings. Your effective cost after seven years, negative $2,151. The car essentially pays you back. Tesla faces brutal competition. BYD commands 15.7% of global EV market share, leading by 388,000 units in Q3. China proved you can mass-produce quality EVs under $20,000. Meanwhile, American buyers want electric but can't justify $40,000 up front. Tesla needs this entry product to feed their robo-taxi network. Cybercab production starts Q2 2026, but autonomous fleets need hundreds of thousands of human-driven Teslas mapping roads first. The pressure is immense. Every month Tesla delays, BYD captures more mindshare. This isn't just about one affordable car, it's about controlling the entry point to electric mobility for the next decade. Whoever wins the budget segment wins the volume game. Engineered to survive, durability and hidden costs. Water and corrosion kill more vehicles than dead batteries. Over 40% of Americans live within 50 miles of coastlines or in regions with three to five months of road salt annually. Salt spray, brine, runoff, and standing water destroy suspension, wiring, and battery enclosures over time. Tesla engineered this affordable model to survive what totals most EVs. Battery pack and drive units feature ceiling rated for three feet of standing water for 30 minutes. That's designed for heavy thunderstorms flooding intersections, not off-road adventures. 
average city curbs sit 6 to 8 inches high. Flood warnings become dangerous at 12 inches. Tesla designed for triple that depth, covering virtually every urban scenario. Corrosion protection separates Tesla from budget competitors. Advanced anti-corrosion coatings cover every underbody component. Standard economy cars survive 500 hours in salt spray testing before rust appears. Tesla targets over 1,500 hours, translating to five to eight additional years in Michigan, New York, or Minnesota, where roads stay salted half the year. What does this mean? Fewer seized bolts at 120,000 miles, fewer cracked brake lines, fewer suspension failures. The platform includes guided drainage channels moving liquid away from sensitive areas within seconds. Trapped moisture corrodes, drained moisture doesn't. Weight optimization matters too. Strategic use of aluminum and coated alloys cuts 150 to 250 pounds versus steel competitors. Less weight means less suspension stress and better long-term durability. Thermal management extends battery life dramatically. Tesla's active thermal system maintains optimal temperature year-round. Batteries degrade 20 to 30 percent slower than passively cooled competitors. Over 10 years, that's the difference between 80 percent capacity and 60 percent. Insurance and repair reality. A cheap car that's expensive to fix destroys budgets. Most budget EVs fail here. Save $5,000 on purchase, then insurance quotes $2,000 annually because parts cost more than the car's value. Tesla uses modular crash structures. Minor collisions use sacrificial components designed to fail parts, absorbing impact for $200 instead of $20,000 in bonded bodywork. Crash cans, bolt-on reinforcements, replaceable skins. Independent shops can service these without proprietary Tesla equipment. That certification program expands nationwide, driving down labor rates through competition. This drops insurance premiums 15 to 25 percent. For 60-year-olds, that's 1,600 per year versus 1,200. Over seven years, that's 2,800 staying in your pocket. Daily driving. Comfort over performance. Performance sells cars. Comfort keeps you driving them. Drivers over 55 grow significantly more sensitive to vertical acceleration, that harsh up-down motion from potholes and rough pavement. Small jolts translate into back pain and fatigue. Sports suspensions amplify what older drivers avoid. This Tesla uses softer springs and revised damping optimized under 45 miles per hour where daily driving occurs. Over 80% of trips for 60-plus drivers happen at city speeds under 12 miles. Reducing low-speed harshness 15 to 20% cuts fatigue dramatically. The ride stays controlled, not floaty. Expansion joints feel muted. Cracked asphalt doesn't telegraph through the wheel. The floor-mounted battery keeps center of gravity at 18 to 20 inches, allowing softer suspension without sacrificing stability. Entry and exit matter equally. The H-point optimizes between 17 and 19 inches, perfect for older drivers or ACK problems. You're not climbing up or falling down. Door openings measure wider than compact sedans, 65 degrees versus 58. That extra 7 degrees means less twisting, less strain on hips and knees. Software throttle mapping becomes progressive at low speeds. Electric motors deliver instant torque, hundreds of pound-feet from standstill. Exciting in performance cars, unsettling in parking lots at 65. Under 10 miles per hour, torque caps aggressively, smoothing takeoffs. Regenerative braking softens below 20 miles per hour, allowing gradual slowing unless you press the brake pedal. Real-world range analysis. EPA range assumes perfect conditions. Reality is harsher. 
Cold drops range 20 to 30 percent. Highway speeds cut 10 to 15. But Tesla's efficient powertrain, thermal management, and aerodynamics compensate. For 12,000 annual miles with most trips under 15, even 200 EPA miles provides comfortable daily range with twice weekly charging. Highway efficiency matters for road trips. Tesla's coefficient of drag hits 0.23, among the lowest in any price class. That translates to 20 to 30 miles more highway range than competitors with identical battery capacity. Charging speed determines real-world usability. This platform supports 170 kilowatts peak charging. That's 10 to 80 percent in 28 minutes, compared to budget competitors maxing at 50 kilowatts, requiring 70 minutes for the same charge. Interface, technology that serves you. Modern dashboards are iPad nightmares. Digital screens grow brighter, busier, more complex. For older drivers, that's dangerous. Reaction time, contrast sensitivity, and focus clarity decline with age. This Tesla introduces high contrast display mode for aging eyes. Larger text, clearer spacing, colors legible in bright sun and dim evening. Increasing font size 20 to 30 percent reduces glance time by half a second. At 60 miles per hour, half a second equals 44 feet, the difference between avoiding accidents and causing them. Many screens exceed 800 nits brightness, causing night glare and eye fatigue. Senior mode caps brightness intelligently after sunset while maintaining contrast. Reverse cameras show clearer depth cues. Instead of cluttered overlays, distance displays in feet. At parking speeds under 5 miles per hour, knowing 2 feet versus 5 feet matters more than stylized graphics. Assistance alerts trigger earlier, more gradually. Extra half-second warning at 45 miles per hour adds 30 feet stopping distance. Critical for slightly slower reaction times. Core controls, climate, defrost, lights, wipers, surface with fewer taps. One tap instead of three lowers distraction. Navigation simplifies trip planning. The system automatically calculates charging stops based on current battery level, weather, elevation changes, and driving style. No mental math required. The controls controversy. Tesla's biggest controversy isn't price, it's controls. Removing physical stocks for turn signals and gear selection angered buyers. For mainstream customers, especially older drivers, muscle memory matters. After 40 years, relearning changes everything. This affordable model takes a hybrid approach. Essential controls stay tactile. Signals, wipers, gear selector. Advanced features remain on screen. When merging in traffic, you need controls operable without looking. Physical buttons provide tactile feedback. You know you activated the turn signal without glancing down. Touch controls require visual confirmation. That split-second glance away becomes dangerous in heavy traffic. The China question. China proved cheap EVs work. America decides if they're worth buying. BYD dominates sales with aggressive pricing, but inconsistent quality, unproven durability, and virtually no U.S. repair networks. A car costing $3,000 less that strands you 200 miles from qualified service isn't a bargain, it's a liability. Tesla's advantage is infrastructure. Charging networks, expanding independent repair, parts availability, depreciation curves. This isn't just a vehicle, it's the foundation for robo-taxi fleets launching Q2 2026. For fixed income consumers, this changes retirement planning. Transportation is the second largest household expense after housing. Cutting costs 40 to 60 percent frees resources for healthcare, family, and security. Final question. 
If Tesla delivers $12,749 MSRP engineered to survive 200,000 miles in American conditions with manageable insurance and repairs and an interface you won't need grandkids to explain, would you buy it? Not as a Tesla fan or tech enthusiast, but as someone needing reliable transportation for 10 to 15 years. Comment price if cost matters most. Range if you need maximum miles. Durability if you want it to outlast you. Next week, exclusive CyberCab testing footage from Giga Texas. Full autonomous prototypes running real scenarios. The timeline accelerated. Implications for robo-taxis and affordable Teslas are massive. If this breakdown helped, subscribe now. We're releasing a complete deep dive series on every rumored Tesla product through 2027. Model 2, Cybercab, Van, Pickup Refresh, everything. Turn on notifications. Comment your priority. See you next week with Intel that'll change how you think about autonomous vehicles. Drive safe, spend smart, Stay ahead.